All right. Well, it's five after, and we can talk about our legal systems uh, later, I suppose. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Um, so, uh, can everyone see that? All right. Um, well, uh, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, just a reminder, these means are recorded. We post them online for uh, people who aren't here, so we can uh, um, people can keep up with what's going on. Um, not too different from normal, although I do have an announcement about the purple mission statement, um, and uh, I'll go right into that. I think uh, people did know uh, that Purple was looking to kind of uh, tweak their mission statement to be a little uh, less focused on MIPS. Uh, technically, we've always been um, instruction set neutral. We don't require things to work on MIPS, and as most people know, we don't, um, as far as I know, I don't think anything we've done is like requires you to work on MIPS. However, it has caused some problems in the past and, and it doesn't really reflect what we're doing. Uh, so the uh, Platinum directors and the board um, voted unanimously just this week to uh, finalize a change to the mission and it's, uh, it's here. And um, the mission is that to develop, support, and promote an open source community-driven consortium with a focus on enabling the security and interoperability of embedded devices for the Internet of Things and Smart Society of the Future. Um, we specifically have said that the, historically the Purple Foundation was developed around the MIPS ecosystem and it has now evolved to an instruction set neutral approach. Um, we had mentioned of, that we were, were looking at doing this and getting the language, so I just wanted to make sure that people knew that yes, we have done this and uh, our various uh, websites and and uh, other information are going to be updated in, you know, in the coming weeks to uh, reflect this. Why, why not have like the historically and the mission, the last two uh, sentences, why not have them like asterisk or footnote or something? At least it seems odd to have them as part of the mission statement. I mean, it's too late now probably, yeah. but this it, it looks really weird to me to have some sort of footnote information in an actual mission statement. You, you're, that's very true, and I would, uh, this was discussed a lot. Uh, there are reasons that among the Platinum directors that this was required to be in, inside the mission statement, not outside of it. Um, right. uh, it's, just, it's not a big deal. I, I no. don't really care if it's going to affect anything. So. No. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, it would... Believe me, that, that, that point was brought up and discussed, and it, 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 it felt that the best way forward was simply to keep it there, um, at least for now. Um, whether that changes in the future, I'd, I don't know. It, 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 there may be a time when that isn't, where that footnote is not required, but for have, now, have the, is a need. Yeah, have the Platinum, have Platinum membership changed at all, who, who, or are they still the same? Uh, they're the same. However, Broadcom is not a plat not a platinum member anymore. Um, so it, it's the same, but Broadcom. I think Broadcom is a. I don't remember offhand. I think they were gold. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it's the same. Yes. So it was unanimous. So I, I think this is good for everybody. This this gets really focuses a lot more on what we actually do. I don't think the the previous mission was. Uh, it was a little too general, and it didn't really reflect what we actually ended up doing, which is obviously not a good thing. Um, and it, it really harmed our ability to uh, attract uh, new members because people people saw the MIPS thing, even though we specifically said, yes, we're going to be instruction set neutral as well, or open to other instruction sets. We um, People just got caught up on that. So that is hopefully not an issue anymore. All right. Um, I did want to let people know about that. So this has been approved. So this is officially the new mission of Purple, which I think is probably reflective of most everything we do anyway. Um, uh, the Scal event plugin, uh, Felix couldn't be here today. He um, wanted to be, but it, scheduling just did not work out for him today. Um, I know there's been some discussion about this about this topic um, for those who, who haven't been up on it. Uh, Felix had, had uh, based upon all of her feedback, he gave her proposal for Scal event support. Um, this is, uh, he is, uh, there's some particular points that 
excuse me, um, particular points that, that were in here that, that I, I um, brought out is that uh, this does not implement polling. Um, that isn't to say that there isn't a need for polling uh, in Scala at some point. In fact, uh, I think Felix agrees that he straight out said, yes, this is a need at some point. Um, but the choice was uh, based upon the site, you know, not making the project too big was to either do the eventing or the polling and then uh, consider the general needs of, you know, of the other one as you design it. So he's not, you know, you know, kind of coding yourself into a corner. Um, so he, he specifically, based on this, did uh, basic event support. So it's, they're like callbacks and things like that, uh, not a polling uh, mechanism. Um, uh, Felix, uh, next week, I think we'll be able to do the do a presentation on that. He was he was going to write something up, and uh, and do that. So I I you know that that's the plan. I'll have to have to confirm it with him. Um, but uh, that's kind of the, where where we hope to go forward. And I don't know if in this meeting uh, with Felix on here, if there's any feedback that people wanted to provide. Um, or uh, or bring any things up that they they noted outside of what was noted on the on the thread. In the thread, there's a discussion about changes that need to be made in the U.S. infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Is that something you could elaborate upon, or is something that maybe Felix could do in the um, in the upcoming call, or how? I mean, Felix could do it better than I can. I can I I can do it based upon how I understand it. Um, basically, the the situation is that um, right now. Um, Events are not handled, uh, they're kind of just general events. They're not uh, connect to a particular plugin or a particular um, ACL. Uh, and the only way to kind of guarantee that it's going to go directly to the uh, particular plugin or the particular user is to make some modifications to UBUS. Uh, from the way it sounded, he doesn't think it's going to be particularly tough, and I don't think it's going to be uh, far beyond um, what's already been, uh, what's already there. He, he feels that it's pretty straightforward. And um, as he develops UBUS, it's feasible to, to make those modifications himself. But uh, I, I would have to mostly defer to him, but I, I can, that's the information I understand it. Okay, well, could you give him back then the feedback back that I think that would be appreciated during the, yep. the meeting that he also has a special section um, discussing what needs you think that are necessary to make for changes in new bus. Okay, absolutely. I will. I will pass that along to him, and and we can. Yeah, definitely. Um, and and I've asked him also to uh, extend the proposal a little bit to to give a little more uh, color to you know what the current situation is and and what needs to be changed. Uh, but I think the proposal, as is, kind of summarizes generally what we feel. Um, so yeah, any other thoughts or, or comments that people wanted outside of the thread? Um, hi, um, Eric. Yep. I think that, uh, so we have a couple of, of more questions uh, to ask to Felix. I think mm -hmm. that we can add uh, some comments after this, uh, this meeting because uh, if I was thinking to ask uh, to Felix some of these questions in this meeting, but I, it's not a problem. I will uh, I will write uh, uh, something because I have some more uh, uh, things uh, to clarify about the unnamed objects and uh, the other Dell notification events if uh, these are uh, uh, supported by this implementation. But okay, I can write this question directly to him. Okay. Um, Definitely. I think also we can uh, we after that uh, Felix has finished to to implement this uh, proposal. I think that we need some more time to finish to complete our CM to scale implementation in order to to incorporate these uh, these new developments. I I mean, um, but uh, this uh, I think that it's not a big effort. We can do this in a few days or uh, probably a few weeks. It's not mm -hmm. uh, a big deal. Okay. And, and um, this is one of the things that's important is this is this getting us to a point where um, you can uh, we'll be able to you know make this this code public. Um, I think that's one of the big big things that we we want to make sure that we're getting that th I mean obviously I can't 
have you you can't say with 100% without seeing code and things like that but um, this does seem to, is, is this am I correct that this is the missing piece that that's preventing you from doing that uh, yes basically yes because uh, we would like to finish this part before uh, going forward with uh, this public uh, publishing before mm -hmm. publishing our uh, code basically and also I was uh, we were wondering if we can integrate our event controller because now we have a separate daemon for this event, event controller and I asked Felix at this point because probably we can start to think about integrating also this event controller inside this SCAL implementation. I saw that he wrote that there is a separate daemon to manage this, this events and this is a good thing for us because uh, it's uh, much easier for, for us to integrate also our controller in this way. Mm -hmm. So basically we agreed with the implementation that he proposed. We don't have a major observation uh, to, to make uh, basically. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Walter, I, I know that since since you are also uh, represent the, the company with the other tier 069 client that uh, you know, is going to be out at some point. Is is this the direction that you think makes sense, or is there anything that jumps out at you that says, you know, no, this isn't going to going to get the job done for us? I'm going to be honest. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, That's okay. I, I'm listening in while I was uh, while, while I was finishing up some uh, some work. Um, for everything I've seen so far, is in is heading in the right direction for sure. Okay. All right. No, that no problem. Definitely. I mean, if you please do, you know, you know, look through that base camp. You know, when Felix presents, please do give plenty of feedback because um, we want to make sure that that we're we're getting to this because uh, you know, very a year ago we had the goal that we wanted to have not only this layer out, but we wanted to have um, TR zero sixty nine clients that were open sourced by our members and and we want to get into that direction because that is important for our goals and um, it's important that we, we make that progress. So I, I we need to make sure that, that, that um, it's important that we get there uh, preferably after this, um, this, this potential project is completed um, once we get the final um, answers because that, that's very important for the, our, you know, the, the future work on this. All right. Maybe, yep. maybe a bit of a side comment. Um, yep. We this week finally did have a, a resource assigned to um, finally finishing up and releasing our uh, TR69 client. Awesome. So with, with a bit of luck, uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks, we should be able to release ours as well. It's been on hold for far too long, but oh. now we have somebody working on it. That's fantastic, Walter. Um, is that something you're going to want to you consider putting on the the purple feed? Uh, I'd like to wait until something comes out. Of it. <laughs> no, I understand. Um, okay. All right. Well, we can we can talk a little bit more about that. But um, all right. Well, great. I mean, that's fantastic to hear. We, I mean, that that's certainly moves this process forward, and that's important. Um, important to the you know the the, the continued success of this this uh, group and uh, this effort. Um, fantastic, that's great to hear. Uh, any other comments or questions on this on this topic? All right. Um, back to the agenda. Uh, the Carrier Interest Group face-to-face -face Purple Mini Summit. Um, we've, uh, you know, continued some some uh, uh, discussion on that. Um, the the uh, and uh, finalized the location. It's going to be at the uh, Qualcomm San Jose office, uh, which apparently is very close to the airport. I also listed in the Carrier Interest Group a number of of uh, of hotels that are recommended. Apparently, you can get a discount if you say you tell them you're you're with Qualcomm. I don't know how much it is, but that is the recommended um, situation. 
Uh, it's again going to be the May 31st and June 1st. Um, the running plan, as long unless we have anyone that objects to it, is to do the um, the low-level common API meeting in the morning of uh, May 31st, and uh, the um, software stack independent API meeting the morning of the uh, of June 1st. That's because there are some members who are from Europe who aren't able to attend, and they they would be able to attend. Uh, to make it a little easier for them to attend remotely. In in the afternoon, we'll also discuss, um, as uh, as Bruce had mentioned, the topic of um, of the the security uh, subgroup and kind of how we want to move forward with that. So that will that will uh, we'll we'll do that. Um, and then uh, we also have some uh, trust continuum discussions that. Uh, you know, a little presentation on that and try to get some feedback. And I think there's probably also other things that are going to come up or we're going to have to adjust because, you know, the meetings might go a little longer, a little bit shorter. Um, but that's kind of like the the, the agenda right now. And I, I do have to post uh, when those times are um, and when I'm scheduling those for. Um, I don't think there are any other questions. I know that Pasquale had asked for the address. That's a good question. I have to ask Soraya what the exact address is and, and that information. It's the Qualcomm San Jose office. That's what I was told. So I will get the address. Um, I, we all all uh, the the three major chipset vendors will be represented. Obviously, Qualcomm. Um, uh, Broadcom will be represented um, with Scott Wilkinson. Um, maybe others. We're we're still trying to trying to get that confirmed. Uh, Intel is going to be represented, but they're they're still trying to figure out who the proper person is because Eddie can cannot attend. Um, so I'm I'm uh, waiting on that, but they've they've confirmed that someone else will attend. Um, We've we also talked a little bit about the in the in the uh, the last call the the um, low level API about some other people to to invite either remotely or or uh, in person um, and we'll go and uh, we will go from there. Any questions comments? All right, awesome. Thank you, Walter. 1700 Technology Drive, San Jose. I, I figured I could Google it, but I was going to ask Soraya just to be absolutely sure um, that I wasn't no. going in the right direction. Um, you, you, need, you need her to tell us which of the buildings it is because it's a campus with a number of buildings. Yeah, I figured. Uh, yep, yeah, I, will, I will ask her, definitely. There's only, one, there's only one building with the lobby, that's 1700, so it doesn't matter what room to go to. You have to go to 1700, which has the lobby for check-in. They're just two buildings next to each other. Okay. Awesome. But you have to go check in in the lobby of 1700. Sounds good. We will we'll do that then, and I, I'll add that information. And there's visitor parking facility uh, right next to it as well, so it's easy to get to. Yeah, there's a there's a ramp behind those buildings, and the ramp has plenty of parking. You just have to watch out that the Open spots on the bottom are two hundred two. Uh, sorry, two-hour retail parking. So you'd have to. Um, if you're going to be there all day, you have to, like, go to the other spots. All right. Cool. All right. We will add that information as well. Awesome. Um. Uh, next thing, uh, the the purple feed. We uh, you know. Bruce and Sukru, I assume you're you're still on on uh, planning on, on OWSP. Is that yes? That is what OWSP. I yes. Yeah, yeah. The plan is still to make it available to Purple Feeds uh, in May. Okay. So we'll release next week, and then he can start with uh, the necessary work to finish. Fantastic. That's great. All right. Um, anything else about Purple Feed? Um, any? I mean, we're we're certainly would like uh, you know the, either the TR zero sixty nine uh, clients on there and um, any other projects that make sense. So, all right. 
Um, the purple WRT security s subgroup update, I did send that email, uh, didn't get a lot of feedback back. Uh, there were a couple people, or there was one person that did respond, uh, Federico, who's also involved in the Open WRT Summit, and he was he was supportive. And uh, I think um, I think this is this is a good, really good idea. I think we're we're gonna have to kind of get the ball rolling ourselves. Uh, that it doesn't look like there's anything else out there that um, is being done. Um, I definitely think that uh, we should uh, make sure that Hauke can be be involved, as as he was the uh, you know, started this uh, BSI topic uh, off and was very involved and he, he understands that better. Um, so I don't know if there's a whole lot we want to do now prior to the face-to-face -face or, you know, I, I Bruce, I know you were the one that kind of, uh, you know, was spearheading, you know, the, getting the the idea going. I, do, do you have any, you know, thoughts on, on what you think next step should be exactly? Not really, unfortunately. Um... Okay. Okay. Well, I will. I will talk with Hauke and make sure that he can be involved. And I'm. And I'll talk with um, Felix and Imre and Luca and see who else they think should really be involved. Because I think it's important that we ha make sure that we have, um, at the very least, a significant portion of the um, of you know lead and open WRT developers interested. Because this is obviously quite. Um, I don't want. It's pretty core to how OpenWRT works, and we want to make sure we do a good job. But I, th I, I think this, this is a good. I, th I think we're on the right track. We just need to need to get a little more momentum. All right. Um, unless there's anything else there. Uh, board farm. Um, Ultron. Uh, Zhao. Did you have any any feedback on this? Um, uh, yeah, well, like I, like I mentioned uh, last week, uh, Eric, as you know, we are, we are working on a presentation that we would like to share with um, Purple Foundation. Uh, I expect to provide you a draft uh, by next week and maybe in the week after. Uh, I will probably propose to, to schedule, I don't know, 30 minutes, one hour presentation. Okay. Yeah, that'd be, I think that's a good idea for the Purple WRT meeting, have a, a meeting where we just do that. Awesome. Um, all right. Um, anything else on, on board farm or testing related stuff? We did mention a little bit in the, uh, I just wanted to mention in the um, low level kernel or the low level common API meeting that, that we did talk a little bit about um, uh, Walter had suggested testing, doing, uh, you know, if we have a common API, um, how do we actually, you know, verify that people have, are complying with this? So that might be an interesting thing to uh, consider going forward. Um, nothing that needs to be, like, don't need to change any plans kind of thing, but it, it is, it's on the radar kind of thing. Okay, that's good to know. Yep. All right. Awesome. Um, Open WRT Summit. We finalized the sponsorship um, prospectus uh, yesterday at the Open WRT Summit meeting. Um, so we are going to be uh, going out and asking um, as many people as possible to uh, organizations as possible to sponsor this. I mean, to do a to do a really strong event, we're going to need uh, a, a decent amount of support. So. Um, I, I hope that um, people on this call, they can, um, you know, hopefully their companies can 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 uh, consider sponsoring and and uh, and helping make that happen. Um, we the the budget right now is it's a very um, I think we're uh, very uh, I don't know what the word is I don't want to say the word miserly we're not miserly we're we're very um, Thrifty. thrifty. There's the word, Kathy. That's good. We're very thrifty right now. We're not. We're not doing anything extravagant. We want to have a good event that is going to meet the needs of, of as many people in the community as possible. Um, and I, I think it's a. It's and the uh, sponsorship levels are very reasonable. I mean, the 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 platinum level is is five thousand. The the gold level is a thousand, and the um, 
the uh, silver levels 500, uh, and you get you get you know passes with that. You get a fairly significant amount of of, of resources. Um, so I I think it's a it's a it's a pretty I think a relatively good deal for for sp potential sponsors. Uh, we'll be sending around that prospectus to um, as many people as possible probably in the next few weeks. Eric, I'd like to just comment that uh, I, I like the where where we've gotten to this year in terms of uh, getting a structure together that make, makes it more self-sustaining, mm -hmm. more uh, multi-sponsor oriented. In the past, it was just like purple putting in money to, to get it going. That's happened for two years in a row. Now it's no longer a purple dependent uh, event. It's it's just we reach out you know as we as best we can to all the purple. Um, members and contributors and participants, but we also can reach out further and uh, and having, you know, a nominal registration fee gets more of a commitment for people to come. That's $50 currently, but we might tweak it depending on how many sponsors um, sign up just so we can host a good event. And then having uh, CZ Nick uh, behind it has been a huge bonus. That's That's hugely helpful. So... I think it's a good step forward that we have the momentum of a self-sustaining uh, annual summit. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you, Kathy. The, the, the fact that it, that this could be certainly self-sustaining and isn't just a, a situation where Purple just needs to put in money. But I think that's it's, it's really best for the long term. And and I already know that we've we've um, without even trying, I I know we have at least uh, a few potential sponsors that have. Um, People have had reached reached out to us already that said, "Yeah, we 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 really like to consider this." So I I think there's going to be a lot of interest in, in this, and and I I think also uh, one of the nice things about having sponsors, even if it's not even if they're not putting in the the huge amount of money, um, it's simply it's just it, people just get a little more committed. Um, they want to they want to make sure that the event you know is. Uh, participate, make sure it's a great event, and so it's a it's a little bit of a kind of I don't want to say a virtuous cycle, but a little bit of uh, a give and take that's really I think health healthy to make the the sponsor or the event real real strong. So um, we'll definitely be getting the sponsorship um, prospectus around to I'm sure everyone in this group and and hopefully um, and as well as um, other uh, other entities in the community. Um, any other thoughts or comments on OpenWRT Summit? All right. Um, one thing I did want to mention, but I did not, uh, I forgot to put it on the agenda, um, and it, it may relate a little bit to the security subgroup, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm not sure quite yet, is, is I don't know if anyone saw that, but on the OpenWRT and lead lists, um, someone from the Open Compute Project uh, emailed and said they were their open compute is moving into uh, like Wi-Fi routers mostly for like big companies um, like for their running their on premises uh, in the fact that uh, for those who aren't familiar open compute was this um, initiative I think primarily started by Facebook um, to come up with like standardized uh, server infrastructure that it was the designs were open, the um, software was open, uh, and it was a way simply to reduce, allow a lot of people in the community to work together on lowering cost for devices like server. And it sounds like they're trying to get into Wi-Fi and they're basing that on um, uh, like Wi-Fi routers and they're basing that on OpenWRT. Um, so one thing is I, I think that they, they might be a, a good group to reach out to uh, particularly uh, first to do possibly do like a presentation to better understand what they're doing. I think that'd be great for a future meeting if that's interesting to people, but also to see if they'd be interested in participating because obviously it, the needs of a, a very large company, like let's say a Facebook, um, their needs for security are obviously extremely, extremely high and they might have some interest in that topic of security. So um I just wanted to see if there's any feedback from anyone on that or anyone had any thoughts on that.
Yeah, do you know what they were actually doing? Was it going to be some kind of like uh, open Wi-Fi access network that they were trying to create, or do, do you know what they were trying to do? It wasn't entirely clear to me, um, but it sounded like basically what they wanted to do is they want to be able to take, um, from what I understand, is to basically instead of having to buy off-the-shelf routers or, or, you know, or buy routers that are um, from a vendor, they want to be able to have an open, a piece of open hardware that anybody, any company could implement that is, has open software, open hardware for the most part, and is easily manageable from what it sounds like. It's still a little vague to me, and I guess I'm I'm still kind of new to open compute. I I just know of them, and that's about it. But um, I, that's why I think it'd be very interesting to learn more about it. But I think it's really for basically their own IT people to actually have something that is a little bit higher quality than what they've what they feel they've had to date. All right. Any other any other comments or thoughts on that? It, w do people think that would be a good idea for a um, a presentation from this from the, from these folks? And I, maybe we can reach out to them and um, see if they'd be willing to present about what they're doing and what their challenges are and things like that. It does sound like a good idea. Um, I'm vaguely aware of it, and I've looked at a few things, but I, like you, I, I haven't really cut on the full grasp of it. I do know that uh, things like um, open V switch is interesting from um, from also um, a router perspective. Mm -hmm. Open data plane is interesting in the sense that it, uh, it aims, aims to do some similar things. But I'm not sure exactly how that uh, how that relates to the open compute. Yeah, definitely. I think it'd be interesting to find a little bit more about it. All right. Um, unless anyone else is willing to volunteer, I suppose I could I could reach out to this uh, uh, the gentleman who posted and maybe get some more feedback on that and uh, see if they'd be willing to present. And I think it'd be great to have them involved because there's certainly have some some with this are going to have some some strong interest in in some of the topics we're discussing. I would I think the security one would be particularly notable. All right. Um so I will do that. Uh any other topics that anyone wanted to discuss? All right. Well, um I may or may not be here for for the meeting next week if I'm not there, uh, not here, uh, because I have I uh, I'm scheduled for jury duty, but we'll see if I uh, if I actually get picked. So I find out the night before. Um, if I'm not here, uh, uh, Cesare will be here to run the meeting. Um, and uh, but uh, I don't want you to be surprised if I, if I'm not here. So uh, it, hopefully, depending on depending on people's viewpoint, uh, hopefully I will be here. Um, if not, um, we will. I will uh, definitely make sure that Cesare uh, has has the information he needs, and uh, we will um, have a good meeting. I'm sure. Otherwise, uh, thanks everyone for joining, um, and we will um, uh, see you again uh, hopefully next week. All right. Enjoy jury duty. Thanks. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. See you, Eric. Yep. Bye.